Virgo, hey y'all, how are y'all doing? You've reached your southern intuition and this is going to be spring fever. We're taking a look into your love life and we'll pull the mystical moments tarot. We'll clarify it up and we will end it with a message from the sacred traveler oracle. This is a spring reading. So it may or it may not resonate for everyone, but... I do believe that everything connects eventually, and if it is your message, you're going to hear it. And then please like, share, and subscribe. This is for Virgo. Beautiful. All right, let's see. Ha-ha, <laughs> the overall for y'all reading, the magician. You are magical. You are really making things happening in your life. In the recent past, there was some sort of like aha moment. And I see you really propelling, really moving in a direction that might have been a little bit difficult, but it didn't matter. You knew the steps that you had to take and this was the new direction you had to go into. Um, in the current situation, there's a lot of self-love, self-care going on. And you might even be walking away from things that don't really serve you anymore. There is a soulmate energy. There's a love. A lover is definitely popping up here. And there's emotions coming through. There's a lot of attention. And then there is the focus of stability. Ending with, well, your lover. So, all right, Virgo. <laughs> I mean... Do we need to clarify? Uh, yeah, something going on here. Let's see. So you're manifesting, right? The magician manifesting love. You're manifesting this attention into your life. This person, you put a lot of thought. You put a lot of effort. You knew what you want and you're going after it. I feel like in the recent past, you definitely reconciled with this individual. You might have even traveled to meet them. This is something that took a lot of strength to do. But now, I mean, there's communication here. It's, it's beautiful. It's, it's great. Or is it? Two of Pentacles. Um, so I feel like you might have actually moved towards this person, went and seen this individual. Um, but now, I, uh, things are changing. Things are shifting in this dynamic. The energy, there's a there's another energy that's at play here. Your person is seeing this as really difficult. Maybe they're just not used to, um, oh, yeah. Well, somebody's got a Peter Pan complex here. Seven of Swords energy. Like, they're pretending like, oh man, this is so difficult. But it's really not. Um, they see you as the Queen of Pentacles. They see you as their stable, their their everything. They're very much of a um, someone that is honest, someone that has learned a lot of things, been through a lot, and they are bringing love towards you. However, I just. They feel like they've got wild oats to sow, or they feel like they've got a lot of responsibilities, and taking you on might be a little bit difficult, even though there's a desire to. Emotionally, though, I feel like they think you might be checking out. Like, they're still very attracted to you. Yep, the lovers is here, but I keep going back to this Ten of Wands and then pretending that the situation is difficult. And then... Maybe even thinking that, well, if I don't get my shit together, then Virgo's going to walk away. Uh, what is the Six of Cups? The Six of Cups here is the how they're going to, they miss you. So maybe, you know, you had to travel away, but yeah, look, yeah, they miss you. Maybe you're in a situation now where you're not talking. And that's what the judgment is about. They're coming towards you because they've got something to get off their chest. Yeah, there's definitely love. Coming in here, the Queen of Cups is in the immediate future with love. And it's just a little bit of waiting. That's why it's difficult because this person has really got to pull their head out of their ass and figure out what they want here. Your advice is to, you know, keep going. Don't stop. Because I see you kind of being stagnant. But there, this is, it makes sense to your soul. 
Virgo. So maybe you need to get a different perspective about the way you guys uh, communicate or, you know, things that you do, uh, the way you give them attention. Maybe you need to find a different way here. Maybe you're not really expressing that you love them. Maybe that's why they think you're just walking away here. Your outcome is the King of Pentacles. So we do have the King and the Queen here. And I mean, this is, you know, beautiful um, energies. And this is counterparts. Absolutely. Yeah, so there's a message coming in. And this message that comes in is really going to propel y'all forward. Your lover is here in the outcome. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> so it'll be all right. This I see you moving towards this. Like, you're moving towards the reconciliation. It might just take a little bit of time, but it's coming. You know, yeah, they might think you're walking away. Well, good enough for them if they've been, uh, you know, Captain Jack Sparrow up there, Peter Pan. Solitude and silence, peace prevails. Yeah, you've put a lot of thought into this journey by the moonlight. Believe in magic. Believe in how you shift and view from above. Get the big picture. Yeah, there's something here, um, especially the moon, and you're not really seeing and I feel like that's where stop and take stock here of what it is um, that you're not seeing. Let's let's see what the book has to say about the view from above here. Don't get bogged down in details and let go of petty concerns. Okay, so don't be petty, Virgo. Get the big picture. Imagine that you're seeing the life from above and only do what is truly important. Everything else is in. <laughs> inconsequential so go through each area of your life to look and see what the big picture is uh, hanged man energy make major life decisions based on strategy mm -hmm. yes strategy the sacred traveler wants you to know that it's easy to forget what the overall journey is about when the traveler gets caught up in day-to-day -day survival and the ups and the downs of life on the road yeah, see, I got that, that you were traveling here. So when that traveler takes the time to look in the big picture that he realizes most of his worries and his anxieties are only temporary, imagine yourself in the future. Ask yourself if what you're doing now will be important to your future. Focus on these concerns and take up a valuable life force energy with that. Keep your focus directed on the important things in life and let everything else drop away. And good luck with that. 